People who live in Cairns and the surrounding regions know there's no place like our place, and keeping it the way it is, is important to all of us. One way to look after our region is to look after our waste. Why? Because the less waste we send to landfill, the cleaner and greener our environment remains. Landfill refers to the waste we put in the ground. And while modern landfills are very different to old-fashioned dumps, and in fact, resources like methane can be extracted from landfill, they have unsustainable economic and environmental costs. The less waste we create, the more energy and other natural resources we save. In fact, in Cairns, our landfill is capped. And due to our environmentally sensitive location, no more landfills are permitted. So we've had to find more effective ways of dealing with our waste beyond relying on landfill because our residual waste has to be transported to a landfill on the tablelands, and that's a costly exercise. So how can we reduce our waste? Let's take a look at what's sometimes called a waste hierarchy or waste pyramid. As you can see, there are a number of ways to tackle waste, and at the top of the list is avoid and reduce, or in other words, minimising our waste. An obvious place to start doing this is when we shop. For instance, when you shop, purchase things with less packaging, whether it's food, games, clothing or toys. Because packaging ends up as landfill. Also, avoid taking plastic bags when you shop. Use reusable and biodegradable bags instead. Another way to reduce packaging waste is to buy the things we regularly use in bulk. Buying durable and long-lasting products and rechargeable batteries also reduces your waste mark on the environment. Using both sides of paper when you print homework reduces paper waste and saves trees. In fact, think about how you can save trees by what you do in your house. Cloth napkins and nappies for your little brothers and sisters. Recycle toilet paper. And online magazines and newspapers. After all, the best place for trees is outside the house, not inside. If you're celebrating a birthday or having a barbecue, take reusable plates and cups rather than throwaways. Reducing food waste is also important. Freeze food before the use-by date if you're not going to use it. Take last night's dinner leftovers to school for lunch. Of course, another creative way to reduce your waste is to turn it into something useful. Use your food scraps for compost and watch your veggie patch flourish. So there's just a few simple things we can all do to avoid or reduce our waste. What about reusing things? Jars, of course, are great for storage. They come in all sizes and you can see what's in them. Wrapping paper is expensive. Reuse it for your best friend's birthday. After all, friendships are all about sharing. What about the artist in you? Takeaway drink containers are great for paints. Bottle tops of all kinds make colourful art and jewellery. Reducing and reusing your waste is limited only by your imagination. And shopping? Secondhand fashion is cheap, cool and environmentally friendly. Buying or swapping secondhand games and DVDs instead of new ones are epic ways to avoid waste. It all means less in your bin and less waste to landfill. Finally, make sure you don't put recyclables or hazardous materials in the green waste bin. Speaking of recycling, it's next on the waste hierarchy. Recyclable items go in your yellow recycling bin, but do you know where they go after that? Well, our recyclables go to the Materials Recovery Facility, or MRF at Portsmouth, where they are sorted and then transported to other contractors who reprocess them into new products. Hazardous waste should be taken and properly placed at the transfer stations, where it's sorted and handled correctly so that some parts can be salvaged for recycling. And of course, you can take other large or unwanted household items to the transfer stations where they may well end up at the buyback shop for purchase by people who want them. But before you throw things out, think about having your own garage sale to recycle what you no longer want. And our recycling story doesn't end there. The waste that does go in your green bin is also taken to Portsmouth to be processed in the Cutting Edge Advanced Resource Recovery Facility, or ARF. Spinning aerobic digesters like giant oxygen-filled composters break down waste into organic material. During this process, sludge or biosolids from our wastewater treatment plants are used to add nutrients. 
they are then deposited into aeration, drying and curing sheds, which fast tracks their conversion to compost. This compost is transported to local farms, and in this way, more of our waste is recovered and put to good use rather than disposed of in landfill, which is the last place we want it to go. Remember, there's no place like our place, so let's do what we have to do to keep it that way. Start now. There's no time to waste.